Hello and welcome to another Kit Plus TV show. Now, we've always been keen to assist where we can with individuals continuing professional development and with the industry changing in so many ways at such a pace, it's never been more important. Yeah, so today we're talking with Stan Moot from IBM because they had a two-day online course covering the fundamentals of SUMPTE 2110, NDI and SRT. So welcome to the show, Stan. Hi, nice to see you. Yeah, great to see you guys again. Before we go into too much detail about this particular course, tell us a, a bit more about IBM training, the types of courses you run. Well, we, we do run a, a variety of training courses. Uh, some of them are e-learning. Some of them are, well, typically in classroom, depending what happens at the moment. At the mm -hmm. Currently, we're doing them, uh, obviously, via Zoom and, and other techniques like that. Mm. Uh, we we uh, allow uh, different companies as well sometimes to, to uh, hire us to, to tailor a course really around their needs. Uh, and some of the other things we like okay. to cover as well is some of the changes with uh, change management as well as marketing courses. So I'm going, going to combine the next two things, Stan, I wanted to ask you, and that was how often are you, are you running the courses and what makes you choose a particular topic? Right. So when we run the courses, typically uh, the e-learning the e courses are, are all online on demand. Uh, the Zoom courses, we typically have been doing them uh, by request. And as we get a serious re request from uh, several people, uh, then we put a date up. For instance, with the uh, with the uh, the course we're running on the 6th and 7th of September, the emerging uh, IP technologies and broadcast industry, we've had a lot of interest in that course. And are the, are the courses open to, to, to anyone? Can anyone join in or is, is it a is it a member benefit uh anyone can join into the courses they don't have to be a member they can simply go on our our website cool. the ibm.org and uh and look under uh courses uh, education and you can see what's what they are and some of them are are highly technical uh for instance some of the file-based ones can get into detail the emerging ip technology one does cover 2110 ST 2110 and AES 67 in mm. detail, as as well as right down into things when you get into smaller networks, uh, you no longer have big DNS servers. So you want to cover little things like MDNS and, you know, technical aspects like that. Mm. Mm. I mean, over the last 18 months or so, uh, Stan, with the pandemic and not being able to travel and so on and meet other colleagues, have you, um, are you getting an interest from new starters or employers wanting their new starters to get up to speed a bit quickly? Oh, absolutely, Simon. Uh, we have a, a couple of courses. We've got a, a short video course, which is called Engaging the Industry, <clears throat> where we cover, you know, the different aspects of the industry very quickly in, in uh, just a half a dozen videos. We also have an introduction to broadcast technology, broadcast and media technology, where we even give uh, a tour of the Coronation Street studios. So you have a good idea what's going on. And what that does is when someone mm -hmm. hires in a new employee that's not familiar with the industry, they can take uh, they can take those courses and get quickly up to speed. It doesn't matter whether or not they're an end user or a vendor. So quickly back back to the course that triggered us to, to, to have this have this chat the upcoming course on twenty one ten NDI SRT etc. Um, these standards technologies protocols we, we, we want to call them um, have been around for a while and we as not particularly technical but we're using it. What what does this course what is this course going to offer the people you know the people that are using it already? Well, I, I think what's important is this is like any technology, you can just flip the switch and away you go, it, 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 it can work. Uh, but what yeah. really happens is there is a total change as soon as you move to IP. People expect back in the, the SDI days, they could just unplug a piece of coax and find the, the signal and understood where it's, it's, it's routed. Uh, mm. When you sushi go IP, it can be anywhere. So understanding those things, understanding what ports use, what signals, troubleshooting techniques, even even being able to use tools, uh, standard tools such as uh, Wireshark to be able to handle these things. And once you have a basic overview of these things, you're no longer afraid of it. 
And we've all had patch panels in the years yeah. and that's over years. And that's what people are afraid of is they no longer have a patch panel. Yeah, I've, I always like to patch panels. Get now. that. <laughs> so <laughs> who, who, who do you see them, the, um, the, the main area to benefit from this? Is it, is it people new to the industry or engineers um, within a, a transitional period, producers or broadcasters? Have you got anyone in mind as you're giving the course? Well, I, I typically don't think a, a producer would want to pick up this particular course, but somebody on the on the technical side uh, does does need to have a, a, a good basis on what's going on. You, you not necessarily designing your own facility, but if you are thinking about designing a facility, it, it is good to have a good overview. A lot of people are still bringing in uh, system integrators to help them do that, and that that makes a lot of sense. But it's like anything else when you when you bring in a team to help people, you have to understand the basic parts of the technology to ask the questions. For instance, Genlock is is no longer just uh, routing around uh, color burst anymore. It's using Precision Time Protocol mm. (PTP). So you need to understand the limitations of these things, but where they work and actually how they improve your whole environment uh, on a forward looking basis. Yeah, the industry really is changing fast. You know, we've gone from baseband to, to, to networking, as an example, very, very quickly. Um, how does, uh, how do companies make sure that their staff, their engineers, uh, how do they keep people motivated to keep up with all of the changes? Well, that's that's a really good question because uh, change management is is something that uh, certainly we focused on uh, uh, very clearly because it, it, people get a little bit nervous with all these types of technology changes. The only advantage, of course, that COVID is the fact that people had no option <laughs> but to accept it and embrace it. But mm. Really, uh, you need to help your, your teams get motivated and improved. And and one of the, the scary things is as people more work from home and things like that, it's difficult to deal with yeah. uh, motivation and, and, and team training. And what we've done on that is we've actually teamed up with Jim Lawless. And uh, he's actually ranked number one outside the U.S. and number six globally as, uh, as a motivational speaker. And he has some really cool. good courses on change management, on how to motivate your teams and specific ones for your top team leaders or basically for all your people. They're, they're really uh, key. And I think people seeing those, uh, you know, after they've been on those courses, they'll be really charged up to get your organizations moving. I mean, that's, that's, that's great. And finally, I think, you know, probably worth saying, we, we, we're quite excited to be using the BAM platform for streaming our seminars from the next Kipler show on the 14th of September in London at Twickenham. But um, for those that, that, that may not know and, and, and may not have seen it before and, and, you know, may not know what your plans are, give us an insight as to how you see the platform, the BAM, BAM Live platform, being used going forwards? Well, certainly uh, the, the BAM Zone uh, platform, <clears throat> I consider really cool because when, you, when you're when you on it, you can see who else is on it. You can chat with them, uh, make direct contact. Uh, you know, wow. uh, our plans on that is to, is to have different events as well. Uh, some of them may be, uh, you know, just uh, short summits. Uh, some of them may be the, the full... Uh, the full day or full two day uh, uh, operations. Uh, again, though, because we run into the time zone issue, uh, which typically is the main thing as soon as anyone's running anything from a webinar to you name it, whether or not it's an online conference, that's always the issue. So what we've been able to do with this platform is do a quick replay right after that. Now, ultimately, if you want to have the interactivity, which you can on some of the on some of the presentations we do, uh, all, you you do need to be uh, you know on at the right time. Mm. So, yeah, it was it was certainly mm. a great asset to the recent Media City show that we did in July, where due to you know all sorts of reasons, um, you know a lot of people maybe weren't able to get there and they could catch it up on the. Uh, the BAM platform. And also, um, Stan, you've got another BAM Live coming up 22nd of September, is that right? That's right. We have it coming up on the 22nd and we have uh, 
a, a, a whole myriad of, uh, of different uh, topics that we're covering in that. And we are pretty well covering the globe time zone wise as well on that one, just to make sure we've done that. We've decided rather than do a two day event, we've moved it into a one day event, but keeping it running more or less over about 20 hours to that effect. And uh, certainly the, the kit plus virtual, uh, I guess it's the hybrid one you did last time was great because I'm here in Canada. So I was able to attend your, your sessions. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's worked out really well. And I'd urge anybody watching this to uh, yeah, visit the IABM.org uh, where you can, can, well, not only see the content that we'll be streaming from the Kit Plus show on the 14th, but you can catch up with everything going on um, with BAM Live on the 22nd of September. Um, thanks, Dan. Thanks for your time. Thanks also to Media Proxy for their support of Kit Plus TV. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.